Hello and welcome to the course of ACE Manager Interview and Career. We will start with the fundamental question, what's management? Or what's your management style or philosophy? Different managers have different answers, and I'll share mine. Uh, I think the key to management is to grow people to deliver value. It has two dimensions, grow people and deliver value. They together have the combination effect. When you grow people further, they will deliver more value, which will in turn help you to grow people further. Before I say what management is not, is, it is I will first say what is not. First, it's not a body. It's not a yes person where you don't lead or direct people, you don't protect or guard real people, and uh, so that um, you can potentially jeopardize their career and the business. It's not a you are hands off so that you provide no value to them and you are useless. It, on the other hand, a manager is not a master either. You are not a, a manipulator where you have to be a control freak. You feel insecure. You just want to uh, make everyone follow your, your way, your specific style. And uh, people would feel uh, devaluated, uh, unappreciated, not recognized, and uh, they will lose their power to create, innovate, and they will lose morale. And uh, you don't pass down stress so that uh, uh, whatever stress come to you, you give it to their level and uh, cause mental health issues to them. You are not just uh, tracking status updates or track their KPIs so that uh, you are, again, uh, just an overhead. And to me, a manager is first an inspirer where you validate them so that they feel heard, uh, they, they feel valued, and uh, you delegate to them so that you feel they feel trusted and uh, um, you can delegate uh, task and assign uh, issues and uh, challenges to people based on their specific skill set, advantage, strength, and passion. And uh, you listen to them. You actively listen without uh, an agenda, without a uh, uh, immediate response or interruption, so that you can uh, genuinely uh, hear their perspective. Based on that, you understand their specific needs and you can respond to that. You read to them, uh, including verbal or nonverbal signs, and uh, that is just a part of listening. listening. And uh, you proactively ask them whether you have heard them, whether they feel delegated, trusted, they feel validated. And uh, you, you heal them by recognizing and respecting their emotional status, their mental being, uh, health, and uh, their needs, and uh, you you relate to them, uh, you emphasize, uh, em empathize, empathize uh, uh, on what they feel. And uh, also, a manager is a leader where you direct them based on your expertise, so that uh, uh, you uh, they are the team is on track. You coach people so they grow faster, they get mature in a more efficient way. You foresee both opportunities and uh, risks, and uh, you unblock them uh, with uh, your expertise. And uh, you put guard rails so that they are not get hurt, they are protected, the team's business is protected as well. So to summarize, uh, the management uh, needs both emotional intelligence as well as technical domain expertise. Emotional intelligence is specifically helpful to grow people, and the technical domain expertise is specifically helpful to deliver value.